Welcome to another commentary done by Digby. This is BSL Hasu League round of eight. SOS, oh, I forgot, oh, black screen again. Sorry, guys. Gonna update the score because SOS toss dropping to Raj in game one. In this best of five. Up left hand corner, SOS toss starting as the purple Protoss. Bottom right hand corner, we got Raj starting as the purple Protoss. And this is going to be on Neo Dark Origin, which has those really interesting ramps here which means if you have a certain amount of dragoons you can a certain amount of units you can uh, that are ranged reavers i feel like are particularly strong in this map because you can see where uh, i feel like two gate reaver is particularly strong it's kind of an interesting early game where it's easier to hold the natural expansion because of that ramp uh play but at the same time if you end up playing too defensively and you don't have a large enough and you don't take the middle of the map early enough you can end up getting yourself boxed out and then starved out uh, for the remainder. It is a two-player map, but it is a very long map, so it tends not to be one of those ones where you see two-gate play unless it's proxy two-gate. And it looks like we do have an initial pylon in both bases. So I'm not expecting double gateway play here, but potentially, we'll see if I'm wrong here. We do have an initial gateway being kind of a more of a defensive slot. You can see it's this is the exit ramp. This is a little bit to the north, a little bit more forward for Raj overall but i would be i'm kind of expecting both players to open up a simulator and again maybe just go for two gate robo i could see three gate dragoon on like a toss risk never mind two gateways for raj and that probe freaking out got pinned in a little bit it was like ah oh, energy to my left what do i do raj double checking making sure there weren't pylons proxied back there and it looks like it is going to be a two gate response for SOS toss. So this is... That was not what I was expecting both directions. So potentially we're going to see a micro battle. Zealot versus Zealot. Overall. Black man waiting to go ahead and get that pylon down. Along that. Be sure not to drop that second pylon by the way. Because every once in a while. You'll have a clever Protoss player that can drop a forge somewhere in the mix. And then you're going to get cannoned in. And it can be challenging to deal with. I've yet to see a game where that's happened, but I have heard about that happening on the ladder. Probe sneaking through. We do have a gas after the second gateway dropped. Interesting timing on the gas because that does interrupt that third zealot being produced. And Raj, yeah, he's going to sneak back here. Does he drop his own? Because what he could also do is drop a pylon back here and then just have a free probe. Never mind. Probe taking too much damage. I wonder if he was thinking about that, actually. So third zealot queued up. Three zealots waiting. Or one zealot waiting. It looks like we're seeing a simulator behind it in between but this probe it does need to get taken care of because having a probe in the base like this can create some disruption along the zealot line if the three zealots for raj decide to field forward it looks like currently they are just remaining in a defensive slot raj may be looking for that third zealot but because of kind of that a slight off timing not that pylon getting dropped here we have the cybernetic score behind it but because of the off timing it looks like he's going to hold and neither player wants to get into an insane micro fight it looks like because right now we got the zealots holding the lower position but these zealots holding the ramp and only peeling off momentarily to disrupt the probe but big advantage to raj for holding the probe here so he's going to be down a little bit economically because the probe not going to be able to because he's down a mining probe but he's up a huge amount of information and as a result feeling comfortable to go ahead and go two gate into nexus as far as the response and in the meantime SOS toss is completely in the dark. Has, does not have an indication of anything for the moment. And finally, the first two Dragoons are going to be produced. But this is a lot of time in between. And let's see if we see a robotics facility follow up here. We aren't seeing range queued up, so I believe that's going to be the play. Maybe a fast robo in the midst of this. Looks like we have at least a Dragoon queued up. Maybe a second Dragoon. Yeah, second Dragoon. So never mind. I was thinking it might be a fast... Robo skip. Dragoon managed to get the kill on the front. And black men gonna drop. So SOS toss dropping a third. And are we gonna go four gateways again? It's gonna be the four gateway play, and we'll see if this ends up being a winner here. Now, normally I would be like, this is very, very strong against a Nexus opener like this. But again, it's gonna come down. I could see the ramp architecture creating a bit of chaos as far as the game plan. So I think there is a world where a fast robotics with support bay 
or some additional cannons or something along the lines can defend this. Single Zealot marching forward to go ahead and get the scouting information. It is gonna, there is time. The thing is, is like three gate versus four gate. Four gate hitting that, uh, hitting the timing with that. Ooh, just sacrificing a Zealot. Is gonna see exactly what it wants though, sees the Nexus. The Dragoon gonna, nope, gonna open it up. And Julia, or Julia, SOS toss, throwing me off, is gonna see everything he wants to see here. Is gonna see, okay, I'm up two gates. So I'm wondering if that's going to cause a trigger pull a little bit earlier. It takes about a minute or two, usually, to know, like, okay, I'm up. But this time he's going to move out. So six Dragoons. This is going to be interesting because with this move out timing, it's going to be six Dragoons versus six Dragoons by the time he reaches here. Usually you want to wait a little bit before you're piling up. So he's hoping he's going to have better micro on the front. And this is, again, the situation with the ramp I was talking about. If Raj just moves forward and walks into this ramp line... Oh, this is... Yeah, SOS Toss cannot afford to donate units like this. So now an engagement. Now Raj knows, okay, this is a straight-up massive attack. He's backing up and getting bonus value, however, out of the units. And with that first Dragoon getting bled off and a bit of micro, and the Zealot able to get on the line, I don't know that this is going to succeed. Four, four Dragoons versus five with a close reinforcement point. And now these Dragoons... There's two Dragoons that are nice micro there on Raj's part, able to stay alive. But now because they're coming in piecemeal, they're coming in piecemeal against superior numbers. And on a ramp where it's a little bit more challenging to engage. So despite four gateways versus two, Raj gonna hold. And this is why oftentimes what you want to do is you want to wait until you have the superior numbers. So Raj now with two bases up. He has the robotics facility down. He's got the support bay on the way. We, do, we have a shield battery behind. And Raj, we'll see if he can defend from here. But the initial attack has been stymied. And I don't see any transition out of it. There's going to be eight. This is... So Raj, not out of the woods yet. So we got five Dragoons out in the front. We've got a shield battery here. One more round of Dragoons. And theoretically, there should be a numbers advantage. Although it's going to take a while to walk across to make that number advantage kick in. And it looks like it is... We are having a hold. We have no additional probes queued up. So SOS Toss just wanting to go straight up with the four gateway play. And part of the problem with this is because there wasn't the patient wait earlier, we've got a Reaver being built as well. Which maybe this can transition for SOS Toss into kind of that defensive play, maybe grab a second and a third really fast and try to box Raj in, but he's going. And again, sending in the units a little bit piecemeal, exposing a, a bit, losing some troops. And now having to back up, just kind of GG there, recognizing the timing was missed. A bit of impatience right there. And the four gate not able to, to succeed. I, a couple things. One is it's a large map to pull that off on. Second of all, yeah, there wasn't the, the waiting, the time delay to get the superior number to then group and overwhelm. And additionally, those bridges really playing a big factor in my opinion. All right. With that, we're going to move on to game three. Things not working out for SOS Toss thus far. Hope you guys enjoyed it, though. Thank you for listening.